So I feel extremely dirty for skipping that section. I would have rather looked it up or something, but uh, I didn't want to risk spoiling myself. I never had to look up anything in 999. I don't believe. I don't think I ever had to look anything up. Sometimes it took me a while, but I'm pretty sure I figured shit out given time. I feel awful now. I really want to know what to do there so I can actually do the rest of the puzzle, but I spent like an hour thinking of what possible combinations there could be, and I didn't get it. So, yeah. <laughs> With our powers combined, we were able to clear the life threatening game. Who cares about clearing it? Why does it make it feel like it's not opening? Hmm? What do you mean it won't open? Ooh. Are you serious? It's not opening? Didn't I just tell you that? It's not just the exit, even the door we entered from isn't opening. Maybe the game isn't over yet. C could be. Is there any chance that thing I found earlier was just joking around? What? Seems like you have something on your mind. Um... When I first around this room, I received a letter. A letter? I'm sorry. That was just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. No the excuses. Hurry up and show it to me. Um... It's this. Solve the mystery of the final dead room, and you'll obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. So that wasn't even the life-threatening game? <laughs> uh. About the life-threatening game. It's life-threatening roulette. Oh, well, you're lucky. So you, you, you've got this in the bag. You are held liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. What? Depending on the difficulty, I've prepared special prizes. Make sure you don't overdo yourself. I see. So that's what it meant. What does it mean? Roulette. Roulette means roulette. It means the games up till now are just the opening act. From this point on is the real performance. Hey. Man, I can see that over there. You see that on the right side of the screen? There's some kind of go game or something going on. Like, I want to know what that is about. I want to do that. But I tried so many gosh darn codes. I'm going to feel like an idiot when I figure out what it is. But uh, I'm going to go back and do the puzzles in this room. Don't worry. But I'm going to have to look that shit up because I spent like over, almost an hour at least. I keep saying over an hour because it sounds cooler. But almost an hour trying to figure that shit out and nothing. So anyways, let's go. <laughs> what she said. Life-threatening roulette. That's probably like Russian roulette. See, a gun came up from there. Which means I have to use that to play Russian roulette, right? Hey. Russian roulette? Then allow me. You can't. No matter what, it's too dangerous. Come on, me. There's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian roulette. What? Hey. If that's the case, load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it. After that, point the gun toward you and pull the trigger. You can't. Wait, you can't do that. That's a one in six chance you'll die. One six chance of death, which means the failure rate is only one sixth. Is that rule really okay? Huh? I mean, if there's only a 1 6 chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? So shouldn't it be the opposite? Move one bullet from the gun and then use it while there are still five bullets loaded. If you do that, there'll be a 1 6 chance of success. That would definitely make it a more thrilling game. <laughs> uh, That's... What are you saying? Let's give it a go! Uh, hold on, Nagito! What are you doing? <laughs> Saw this coming. Well, this is the best way to get a best high score, as it were. What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. <laughs> nice. I've only removed one bullet, so there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. But you're lucky, so you will. You, you can't! Please stop! It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? <laughs> I'm the ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a 1 in 6 chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? <laughs> Good point. 1 in 6 chance isn't that bad. So, I mean, if your luck can't bring you that far, what can it do? <laughs> I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? <laughs> oh, shit be crazy. Please, stop! Eh? 
and blank. Ah, oh, that sound just now. That was the door unlocking, right? Ha, <laughs> looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. Aye, aye. I'm scared of you, Nagito. <laughs> just now? Really? Oh, well, let's go. The Archeon should be just beyond that door. Oh, boy. Man, I feel shitty. I really want to do that puzzle room. I like 999. I like puzzles. I'm not the best at them. <sighs> but, man... I'm gonna whine about this the whole time now. I was gonna look it up, honestly, but I just, I really don't want to be spoiled about this. So, eh. Uh, <laughs> Anyways. What a distorted room. Well done. Congratulations, Nagito! He's here! Yeah Congratulations on clearing the final dead room! And you even challenged yourself at the highest difficulty with only a 1 in 6 chance of success! I have a modest present for someone like you! Now then, this first! Is this the Future Foundation's file? Didn't we go to get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh huh. Well, just think of it as an extension of that. Extension. Hey, hey! What are you giving without permission? Hmm. Let's see. And one more special prize. Here you go! It's Christ. Is that Holtz P Academies? Ultimate hope, yes! Ugh. That's right, this file! Contains your student profiles from your time at Host Peak Academy. The ultimate reward. <laughs> Meaning, they're profiles that you guys don't even remember. Time at Host Peak Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe it. Well, what? You mean the matter concerning your stolen school memories? I mean, a no good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Host Peak Academy? <laughs> uh. That's impossible! If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Maybe he's going to get his memories back and he's going to be awesome and he's going to turn into the main character. And Hajime will get his memories back and he'll be a complete douchebag and we'll change main characters. Hmm. Whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. Phew. Oh well, anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Thanks. I'll take a long look at it later. When I'm not being controlled anymore, of course. So if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is, too. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay! Someone like me was finally useful! <laughs> Woo! Hmm? What are you laughing about? I just thought it was ironic. But everyone here, someone like you, was the one who obtained most big academy student profiles. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? <laughs> Looks like things are gonna get interesting! <laughs> you might be the one who makes things much more interesting! <laughs> I'm hoping for it. Get it? Hope? Oh, I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, hey! What are you planning? What's written in there? Like... Anyway, Monami! Hey, hey! No cheating! You haven't reached the end yet! Hmm? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't played Russian Roulette yet! Um... But Nagi's already did it! What are you saying? No, 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 no! <gasps> no, 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 no! Damn it! Get over here! Revenge of the Final Dead Room! Coercion! Jeez, they're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Monica was talking about. For now, I'll leave the file for later, of course, to when you're not in control anymore. First, need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. Damn it! I just want to go back and fucking play the puzzle! That damn fucking number combination. When I find out what that answer is, I'm gonna flip my shit so hard. Like, Nekomaru wouldn't even... Nekomaru, why is he dead? Nekomaru wouldn't even, like... He, his biggest shit wouldn't even compare to how much shit I'm gonna have to flip when I find out about it, because I'm gonna be angry. Um... Damn it, even playing this right now, I just, I just want to go back and do the goddamn puzzle. I feel like shit. Um... Can I go back? Let's go back. Found dead room is on the other side of this door. I entered this room from this door. There's no need to bother going back. I need to thoroughly look around here. Gosh dang it to heck. Monami's hints, you're stuck. I wanted a hint. I mean, I always complain about when hints are too obvious and make things too obvious, but... Gosh damn it! I better hope... I really hope I was being stupid. As weird as that is to say, I really hope I was being stupid and it wasn't the game doing something super vague that I couldn't have possibly hope to figure out unless I got really lucky. Get it? I'm hot. I'm not a Nagito, so luck. Okay, um... Refrigerator? 
Refrigerator here? I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside, there are poison stored in here. You could secretly kill everyone with poison. In a way, it could be considered the most powerful weapon. But in that case, you have to ignore the rules. Regardless, it's slightly different than an ultimate weapon. Ignore the rules? Oh yeah, that you can only kill a maximum of two people. Something called ultimate should make my heart dance with joy. <laughs> oh my god, I love you, Nagito. A window? Why is there only one window in a place like this? It looks like there's some kind of hidden meaning to it. But in actuality, what could it mean? In my mind, I entered various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. And then the moment I peeked out the window... Huh? This is... What I actually saw outside that window. It's completely different from any possibility I had in my mind. <laughs> so that's what it was! I saw it said the window. If I start piecing it together and I think about it, I see! It seems I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse with this. And of course we can't see. Fuck you, Nagito! Let us see! I want to see! Oh! Damn it! Alright. Axes, swords, hammers, metal wires. There's a lot of items here that can be used as weapons. And over here as well. See, so there are tons of firearms here, too. There are handguns and grenades, launchers, even. Okay, so I'm guessing if you put in one to four bullets, um, you would have just gotten the room. But by putting in five bullets, you get the handbook, I'm assuming. Um, Alright, so this is the hatch out of here. There's a door on the floor? Isn't that the first floor of Strawberry House? Oh? How can you tell? The door leading the ground? Oh! Oh, he's saying, isn't the door at room we're in the first floor of Strawberry House? Okay. Could this door lay on the ground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. Then maybe what lies beyond this door. <laughs> Things are finally getting interesting! Amazing! As expected of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating in the truth, all thanks to just one clue. I know now's not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. That's right, everything became connected from there. Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon in the fun house. Now all I have to do is tell everyone else about this. Before I do that, I should finally take a look at the file I received from Monokuma. And cut, is what I'm guessing is going to happen. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from the time of Post-B Academy, it's, um, that's important. Okay, sorry, I'm talking too fast now. I'm in that Nagito mode. <laughs> I cautiously opened the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Huh? And cut, yep. Back to Hajime, right? Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I know it. I know it. I can. I know these things. I might not be able to solve some stupid news problem, but I know when things are. I can tell when something's gonna happen. I'm a good predictor, even if I don't always understand the. Fuck! That puzzle is driving me insane. I don't feel like I earned that secret room. I really want to go to that puzzle again, and I'm going to. I made a separate save file, but. God, it's pissing me off. Okay. Huh? I'm sorry, did you say something? Is there any way to check my Monokuma coins, by the way? Zero! I have zero Monokuma coins. I'm gonna have to fix that off screen. Because I... If I go and do the puzzle off screen, then I am gonna earn those coins. So you know what? I think I'm gonna end the video here. And when I come back, I'll have earned those damn fucking fucks. God! Okay, so I'm proud of myself. I was able to stealthfully look it up without getting spoiled about anything. Oh my god, I was so worried that like I was gonna get, I was gonna be like, oh shit, the mastermind is X. I didn't learn anything. Holy crap, that scared me. I was like, I was like, am I really gonna do this? Am I really gonna look it up? Don't do it. Don't do it, me. I did it, and I didn't get spoiled about a damn thing. I don't even know why this is the proper code. All I know is this is the code. Um, so hopefully they tell me why, cause I don't know why. Um. For some reason, it's a 9. I believe it was 3957? Is that it? Yeah. Uh, I was using 3657 in like so many combinations, you don't even know. I'm assuming this is 6 upside down. Why is it upside down is what I want to know.
And also, why in this order? Digital camera and USB stick, huh? Are you not even gonna explain that to me? You're not even gonna explain that to me? No battery inside the digital camera. I, I seriously don't know why that works. All I know is that's what the combo was. So if someone wants to tell me in the comments why that's the combo, feel free. Because, oh my god, I, I don't care right now. Okay, there's no battery inside the digital com camera. Alright, let's do the rest of this investigation now. Hopefully no more looking things up. Digital camera that was inside the safe. Alright. And then... It's not powered by a rechargeable power supply. It looks like you use a regular battery. Regardless, it won't turn on since there's no battery to begin with. Okay. Okay. And then we got this. USB stick that was inside the safe. It's shaped like a key. With this, I might be able to unlock the laptop. Oh, okay. So how about we go here? Or wait, no. Um, uh, close this. Take this. Put it on this. Use battery and digital camera. Use the digital camera. Use it on what, though? Check the picture that's inside. Looks like a photo of a space poster that's posted on a wall somewhere. Okay. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Ah, oh, that's the combo. S M V V E M J. It's V E M J. I'm ahead of you, Nikito, this time, you jerk. V E M J. Don't need to look that up. Don't know what it's used for, but I know that's what it's going to be. V E M J. Um, and then, yeah, I thought, looks like I was able to unlock the lock of the USB stick. Need to put in the password next. Maybe the memo that was inside the desk drawer might be the laptop's password. V-E-M-J. V-E-M-J. First letter, no it's not. No, no, no. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, no it's not. It's wrong! It might be correct if you swapped that around and started with Sunday, but even that isn't going to be correct. Doubt it's that simple. Um, no, I know what it is, though. It's okay. I already know what it is. Let's go. Based on the moment of the picture, there's a camera. The answer must be... Uh, wait, shit. First. No, no, let me... Ah, shut up. I gotta look at the thing again. I com I forgot. Uh, v E M J V E M J. I know it is V E M J V E M J. Just remember that V E M J V E M J V E M J. Okay, I got it. I got it. V E M J V E M J. Uh, all right. V E M J. So. Uh, v E M J V E M J V E M J, and then end with an S. There we go. Right. Ta-da! Is this Othello? <laughs> what? Hmm. Othello? Is this... Uh, can we do it? I guess I do the Othello? Hmm. Looks like Othello. Leave it to me. Don't know something. Don't overwork yourself. Feel free to ask me anytime. Uh, can we do the Othello? Hmm. Leave it to me. I don't get it. Can, can I do the Othello? I'm gonna do the Othello, right? I don't get it. Can I do this now? Maybe? Actually represent the number? They use the signal book on the laptop to decipher it. Um. Even if you know the number, how would you be able to input it? There's only one thing in this room you could input a number into, right? Okay, wait, wow, well, so... Let me read all that again. Alright. Um... What is this? Looks like a fellow. Don't work yourself. Could the lights on top of the unlocking device actually represent the number? On top of the unlocking device. Okay. If I use the signal book on the laptop to decipher it, even if you know the number, how will you be able to input it? There's only one thing in this room that you can input a number into, right? Okay. So I just gotta use the same thing again. Let me just look at this again. So... Okay. 
There's four things. There's four dots. So this is going to tell me what the number is, right? Leave it to me. Oh, I know, I know what to do. I get it. I get it. Let me just look. Let me just look at this. I just have to figure out what's the start. Okay. One, nothing, nothing, one. Okay, so one, nothing, nothing, one. So the first one is one, nothing, nothing, one. Let's get get that out of the way. Oh, no, what, I don't need to examine it. Ah! Nothing, 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 one. All right, let's do those two first. So one, zero, zero, one, and then three zeros followed by a one. Uh, one, zero, zero, one is nine. So nine, eight. Leave it to me. We got nine, eight, and then we have... One, 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 zero. One, zero, one, zero. So three, one, zero, and then one, zero, one, zero. What's that? Uh, seven, three, one, zero, and then one, zero, one, zero is five. So nine, eight, seven, five. So let's head over there, why don't we? Let's go to that number code place thing. I believe it should be 9875? I believe so. If it's not, I'm gonna be kinda mad. Really gonna input it in here? Yeah? I mean, isn't that what Nikita was implying? Hooray! Did you hear something? This is the unlocking device, the unlocking device! What? <laughs> we're using gimmicks that were already used does conserve energy. <laughs> yeah. If you uh, use this same thing multiple times, I guess that's true. So what did it do? Ah. And then we got this. Keyhole again. Ah. Hmm. Ever get a key? I believe we've already searched this room from top to bottom. Well, we're using gimmicks, as they say. I did it! For reals this time! Ding, 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 ding. Alright, um, I'm gonna do this off screen, but I'll keep recording in case there's any differences. Uh, so I'll meet you guys back, unless there's a difference. See ya! And we're back to the present, but uh, before I continue this, I want to check a couple things. For one thing, we should have some new stuff, like uh, if we did get it from uh, Nagito's thing. Where is it? Nagito's stuff. Uh-huh, apparently yes. Yeah. So this is all Nagito's stuff, right? Furuhiko saw Nekomaru walking toward the first floor of Shari House at 5 a.m. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm of the wall clock in the lounge in the strawberry house second floor started going off. Fuihiko was at the lounge. By coincidence, I managed to stop the alarm, but so did Kanzen and Gundam. Rushed to the lounge after being alerted by the sound. However, Nikito was apparently the only one who didn't hear it. The contact elevator used to move between both houses was broken and no longer worked. It was apparently broken at the grape house side, so the last person to use it would have arrived at the grape house. The button in the strawberry hall that opens the door leading to the tower is broken. And of course, we don't know anything about what's inside the, uh, the what's it called. Actually, real quick, how's my pet doing? I don't even know if we've moved, but... Nope, nothing. Alright! Actually, sorry to keep interrupting, but, uh, what about my pet? I mean, Chalky's here. Did I say what about my pet? I meant, can I see the other people on the map now? Do I know where they are? Um... Wait, how are we back on Grape House? Oh, okay. So we don't know where anyone is? Alright, whatever. Fair enough. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Huh? I'm sorry, did, did you say something? Well? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. It'd be bad if we were still split up before the class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Mm. Are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. Oh, don't get the puffy face. Sorry. What are you gonna do? You're right, I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling Strawberry Host one more time. I think. That's a great idea, I think. <laughs> 
Oh, hello there. Huh? Um, yeah, let's call. Let's do what we were doing before. A great theme telephone. There's a strawberry button instead of the actual phone numbers. Which is, I thought, definitely next to the phone's our house. However, something more important. What do you have to say on this, Chalky? Huh? Why is he here? Maybe that's where, um, the dead room connects to. It connects to Grape House. Aha! If that's the case, someone could have killed them from that side and came to Grape House. And maybe they could have even gone back that way. I'm not sure. But I suppose it's possible. Don't know for sure. I can tell there's some kind of puzzle going on here, and I'm very intrigued by it. Um, still curious as to why the answer to that puzzle was that. But uh, maybe off screen I'll try and figure out why that was the answer. If I have the answer already, it should be easier, right? Hope so. Anyways, Nigito. Hello there. Hello there, Hajime. Oh, so I'm not being controlled anymore. What a shame. This is. You wouldn't believe what I saw in this handbook. But uh, you're not gonna get to see that yet. Nikita, why are you here? <laughs> Cause I showed up. <laughs> what? You showed up? How'd you even come here? <laughs> Maybe I teleported. What? Huh? Your sudden appearance has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. That's it? That's it? Where is it? Nagito was supposed to be at Strawberry House, but he appeared at Grape House via some unknown method. That contact elevator should have been broken. So, yeah, it has to be that the uh, final dead room connects to Grape House, I'm assuming, somehow. Like, from the ceiling, even? I think. There's no way he actually teleported, I think. There's probably some sort of explanation. Are you gonna tell us? Answer me seriously. How are we able to come to this side? Hey. Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. Now then. I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. After being uh, abruptly interrupted by Nagato, Chalky and I learned about the results of his investigation of Strawberry House. Elevators went out to the truth bullets. Didn't we already have this shit? Didn't we already have this shit? We already had this shit! I looked in my truth bullets. It was already there! Gameplay story segregation. I guess they didn't expect you to check your truth bullets right away. They could have definitely fixed that, though. Oh, well. I like finding Easter eggs like that. Guess these were pretty important. Especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise, too. What was that about the wall clock's alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Hey. Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room. Huh? Could it be? You did the life-threatening game? <laughs> we also did an annoying puzzle room that stumped me forever, and I still don't know the answer to. I had to look it up. I didn't look up how you got to the answer, though, so I still don't know the answer. Wow. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point toward you, and pull the trigger. So you really did it? Man. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I'd only used one bullet, huh? Guess it was just as Monami said. Huh? <laughs> now is what he's gonna tell you, and you're like, what? Actually. I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. That you only had a one in six chance of surviving! But I'm still alive after all. The only good thing about me is how lucky I am. <laughs> I love you, Nagito. What's wrong with him? I know he was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal. He's crazy. There's that's all there is to it. I Anyway, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. Honestly though, I don't think that was worthless. I think the fact that he went, he went max is what gave him the special items. But is he gonna mention those? Maybe? And one of those rights was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. Move back and forth? Where would you even be able to do that and how? Man. Hey, Hajime. You stay quiet. You've been repeating yourself over and over and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roof at the highest difficulty. And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. 
Yeah, see, it wasn't worthless. That's is that the future foundation file? Yep. It's a continuation of the file received at the roller coaster. Continuation? There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. This killing school life. You mean the killings that took place at Hosby Academy with Biakio, right? As I recall, Biakio was one of the students who participated in it. Somehow. If it was the same Biakio. <laughs> Even when we learn about the killing school life, it has no relevance to what's us whatsoever. There's information about the order of the killings, and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Right? Besides Biakia, of course. That's just as I thought. That Biakia was the Biakia we knew, right? What? However, I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and the killing school trip. Similarities? Um, For example, the first murder involves someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. Hey. Maybe this is gonna be some some twisted nine 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 shit where it's gonna be like, oh, the uh, the what's it called, the the morphogenic fields are moving or something. I don't know. Maybe. So that's why they're they're happening similarly. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. The third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Um, although, to be fair, the second murder wasn't a real serial killer. Although, with the first murder, there's another similarity. Um, I wasn't even thinking about stabbing in an unusual place. I was thinking about the friend character in the beginning turns out to be kind of evil and is the first one who tries to kill somebody. In the first case of the first game, they fail and get killed themselves. In the first case of this game, they fail, but somebody else gets killed. So is there a method? Is there a method to this madness? Is there a rhyme to this reason? What do you guys think about these strange similarities? It's definitely strange. Well, I can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma is behind the motives and driving the murders. Mm. What are you trying to say? Hey. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? <laughs> Whether that means something or not, it's something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're just not trying to confuse us? Jeez. Your, com your complaints just never end, do they? You've changed. You're being a bit more, you know, either standing up for yourself more or looking down on me more. Either way, I'm pr it probably has to do with the profiles. If you're going to talk like that, I won't want to tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is, too. Huh? Well... The file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That's Seal! Yep. Indeed, it's the Hope Peak Academy School Crest. Perhaps. Does that have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunate. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. The file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Oh? Just mine? Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Jeez. It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hope Street Academy? Man. In a way, it's just as Chucky said. Hajime's existence is special. Oh? Because you were... <laughs> just some reserve course student from the reserve department. What? What do you mean? Huh? Well... Unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who enter the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute, or the second string. Even then, that's just in name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hoaxby Academy's revenue stream. Revenue department? In- uh, uh, Reserve department. Same thing. In other words, you're a school that exists to- to give the school money. You're not really a ultimate or anything. The only reason you're there is just for the school to get more money to fund the regular ultimate school. I see. That's why Nagito's treating me like such trash, because I'm not an ultimate. Wow. Okay. Substitute? Second string? Revenue stream? What is he saying? <laughs> like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the Academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> Though this... Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. 
Isn't that right? Which means you're just a stepladder. But you should be honored that you get to be a stepladder just like me. Then again, you're even worse than me. <laughs> oh, Nagito. An average, talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. Just like me. The hell does that mean? Yeah, we're similar after all, like you were saying all along. Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire Hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope's Peak Academy like a fangirl following the latest trend. Eh, based on the introduction of the game, I think that's exactly it. He was totally a fangirl. It's not like that. I... Stop it. Wanted to become Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Okay, if you're about to make the speech about how no one, about someone who was born with no hope can never have hope, then you just stop it. Nagito, because that's where, in my opinion, you cross the line. <laughs> Not with all the killings or anything. That makes you cool. But with that attitude, I don't like that. Fix it. That's the one thing you should change. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. There's no mistake. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. No, someone with blonde hair shouldn't be saying that. Believe it, that's a bio. I can defy my destiny. Oh, wait, no. He was a chosen one all along. That's right, never mind. That's a stupid thing about Narch Putin I thought I'd bring up. I don't know. <sighs> super bugs me, by the way. It's super duper ultimate level bugs me when I found that out. What was the whole point of the first half of the series? First third, actually. Putin's much longer. Anyways, we're talking about that too much. This is this. You don't even know? That's why it's not even worth admiring, and why I'm going to give you this condescending attitude from now on. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy, you couldn't even see that? Ugh! <laughs> You're just some nobody from the reserve course, who never had a talent to begin with. And nobody who forgot he was a nobody, that's all. Then I... I'm just... <laughs> that's right, you were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever! I... I... Don't have any talent? I'm just an ordinary high school student? Man... I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student, <laughs> there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. You don't know that! I could be an evil psychopath just like you, jerk! Hmm. If it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? Survivor of the previous killing school life, Byakuya would have been the most likely candidate. I would think so, too. But now that's probably impossible. Hey. Are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Huh? Well? Maybe important to talk about who the traitor is. We need to focus on Mechamaru's murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone's gonna die together anyway. Hmm. In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey. You said you cleared the final dead room and tamed those files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? <sighs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared the room. And I'm, feel f and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtain there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't been changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Well, that's Nagito for you. I kind of get him now. I think just getting to see his inner monologue confirming that he's not super smart. He's just, you know, kind of hope-filled and crazy. I think I'm really starting to understand him. He's crazy, but I'm, I'm understanding the craziness. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. Guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... You're right. I did go to a place that seemed to be the Octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie, there's no way that's possible. Stop it. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What did you say? He's gonna shoot you like shit the rest of the game, Hajime. Deal with it. Oh. I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you won't tell us, you gotta do. we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating the Mechamaru's case? Better hurry, the class trial is going to start soon. You're right. You're right, I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to the site any moment now. Bye now. Well, we're at it. I'll go on ahead. Hey. Hajime. It's okay, I already know. You want me to focus on Nekomaru's case right now, right? 
It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else to return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Chalky? Yep. Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Just because you're useless doesn't mean you should die. <laughs> it's just, oh, thanks. You're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Mekamaru's case. 